Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In a previous video I did, I went over how to store files and use AppSheet's file storage system. It was more of a cursory overview of the process. I realized that video was fairly popular, and as I thought more about it, I realized that the method and the ways that AppSheet stores files and images is fairly convoluted and confusing, uh, very confusing for folks, right? So this video is an attempt to try to simplify how to think about file stores to hopefully make it easier to understand. And keep in mind, this could probably change at any time. I'm sure at some point this process will change, but as of April of 2022, uh, this video certainly is valid and I'll make sure I, you know, if it ever changes or improves in the future, we'll, we'll give a disclaimer at this video. So let's get started. Um, first, we're going to start off with a, an overview of the three components to consider when thinking about file storage. There are two inputs. One's the default folder location. And the other one is the storage path that is saved to your uh, your table for your image or file type. And together, those two construct a path, the full path that AppSheet will either use to retrieve the image or store the image. And keep in mind, retrieval and storage are also independent of each other as well as we go through this, right? So. The, just because you store an image in a certain way in AppSheet doesn't mean it will retrieve it in the same way as well. So let's get into how to figure out default, the default folder and storage path when retrieving images and files. So why do you need to be familiar with retrieving images and files in the first place? Normally you don't. So if you, you start with a brand new app and all your data is going to be flowing into your application, there's little, there's little to no reason why you'd ever need to understand how AppSheet retrieves the images or files because they will just work for you. AppSheet will do that automatically. However, if you need to import data from maybe another system or you're migrating data, uh, existing data from another source and you want to make it available in your app, you need to be aware on how a AppSheet constructs these image paths so you can set the stored path correctly in your table to have AppSheet retrieve those files without issue. And as I mentioned before, you have two components that AppSheet uses to derive the folder path to go retrieve that file. First one is called the default folder, and the second one's the storage path. So let's get into the default folder piece, as I believe this is probably what causes a lot of the confusion and has confused me in the past until I figured out what's actually going on in the background. So the default folder, when um, there's two different scenarios to consider when you're trying to figure out what the default folder is for your application. The first one is if you're using a spreadsheet or table that's in the same source as the images or files that you're trying to store. So this is basically your default behavior in AppSheet. Whenever you add a spreadsheet, you know, for example, if you're using Google Drive, if you're adding a spreadsheet to your application, by default, AppSheet's going to use that same Google Drive to store images and folders as well, unless you change it. When you use this first method of setting up your table, the default folder is going to be the same folder as your table location. So if your table is located in folder ABC, for example, then that's the default folder path that you need to consider when constructing your full path in the application. The second one is if you have a spreadsheet or table and then the file store itself is different from your, your, your table that you're using in, uh, in the application. And for example, this could be, you know, maybe you're using a, a database of some kind, which doesn't inherently have a file store. So you have to use something different, or maybe you are using something like a Google sheet, but you want to store files in Google storage or AWS S3. 
for another reason. In either of those cases, those are represent different locations that the table is storing data and where the files and images are getting stored. And in that, in, in that situation, your default path is going to be set under info properties, app properties, default app folder. So let me show you where that is in the app because that sounds really confusing. So this, um, this can be found under the info tab under properties. And then you expand the app properties window here or the box. And then down at the very bottom is your default app folder. Now, remember, this only applies in that second scenario I just described. This is completely ignored if your table and your images are stored in the same file store. Okay, back to the slide here I was showing. We went over the default folder. So once you figure out what that default folder is, now we can move on to the stored path itself. And the stored path is a lot simpler. It's going to be whatever value is stored in the table itself. And you can see here a little screen grab of an image column here with the path that's on there so the full path that's a result of this when you know you're considering is going to be that default folder that we went through and you can construct and then you're going to append on there the storage path and then you have your full path that app sheet will use to retrieve that image okay moving on let's now take a look at how app sheet stores images and files Remember, this is going to be completely independent from the retrieval side. Whatever methods you use or formulas you use to store images or files, you can change this at any time, and AppSheet will never change the method on how it retrieves the files, assuming the data doesn't change in the table that you're storing this information. So just remember, reemphasize. I want to reemphasize that, that storage and retrieval are two separate mechanisms in AppSheet. So once again, as we get into how AppSheet stores in images and files, we once again have a default folder and a storage path that we need to investigate to understand how AppSheet is choosing these locations and how AppSheet either determines each of these components or you as the app developer determine how to construct those components. So the default folder is going to be derived in the same way that we went over with how AppSheet retrieves files. So this component stays the same, so there's nothing new. Let's focus in on the stored path. So when trying to determine or tell AppSheet where to store images or files for your application, there's two different considerations. One is the default behavior, and that's gonna be defined based off of the type details in your image uh, column type or file column type. So if you look under type details in your column settings, you'll see that there's this formula here called image or file folder path. So when this is blank, AppSheet is going to create a folder that will either be your app name underscore images slash file name that's derived or app name underscore files and the file name that's derived, right? And these are just two different ones. Obviously one's for images or drawings and the other one's for files themselves. So these will automatically be created and that's where AppSheet's gonna be storing those files when you combine them together with the default folder plus this folder path, this stored path that was constructed automatically by AppSheet's default behavior. The second one is if you actually have a formula in the type details here and it's not blank. And then that folder path is just gonna be the output from the formula that is computed in that formula. So if you have a formula with forward slashes in it, each of those forward slashes will essentially create a new subfolder in there so you can you can get super organized with your folders using other column values from your the record if you want to. Once you've figured out this storage path, again, it's whatever the default folder that you calculated on the left side, plus the storage path 
that we, I just went over here. And in total, that is your full path that then AppSheet will then store to your file store. So this last part I'm going to go over is an exception only for Google Cloud Storage and AWS S3 file stores. If you're using those methods to store your images and files, this will apply in that situation. And this is a one-off uh, compared to everything else I just went over. In general, all the rules apply that I just went over previously. However, if you have a double forward slash at the beginning of your storage path, so that's that second component we've been talking about, then AppSheet will exclusively use that value as the full path to retrieve or store files. So whether you're, you're setting a storage path with double slashes in a formula, AppSheet will then store that to, starting with the root folder. This is essentially the root folder designation for these file stores. So when you're using the, the double forward slashes, then AppSheet is storing that image starting with the root of those the bucket that you're using in Google Cloud Storage or AWS S3. And that will be your full path to retrieve or store images. So if you use a double slash in your, your formula to store images, you can designate it to go specifically to a certain location in that bucket. And then the same with retrieval as well. You can put double forward slashes in your table uh, that actually will read from the stored path. And then it's going to know to use, you know, start from the root of the folder to retrieve that image. And that'll give you a lot of control when you're migrating data as well. You can just put this absolute path for your image or files types without having to use the relative paths essentially what I was going over before. So here's example one where you have your storage path and this is a normal storage path. There's no double forward slashes at all in it. And we have a default folder app sheet slash data. And then the result is going to be for a full path app sheet slash data slash folder file name dot JPEG, right? So this is the expected behavior based off of the previous examples that I was given before we got into this section. Now, example two would be the scenario that I'm talking about now, where you're going to have forward slashes in your storage path while still having a default folder as app sheet slash data. So you'll note that the result of this means that app sheet's going to either go search or store data in the folder slash file name dot, dot JPEG and completely ignore the app sheet slash data default folder. So with that, I hopefully that helps and brings more clarity to how AppSheet is considering file or, or image storage. Hopefully this video helps in understanding that logic, helping you move forward in your app development endeavors. So with that, I appreciate everyone watching. And please, if you have any questions on this, I still think there could be some holes in what I presented today. So I would appreciate everyone's feedback as well, and I could help correct that. Uh, let me know or any examples that invalidate this claim. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and have a good one.